Good morning. My mom and I are here at the Cow Creek Trailhead. And this is located inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And we are the only ones here. I was driving all fast towards the end there because I was worried about getting a spot. And today we're going to go for Fox Creek Falls. Looking at about three miles out. And I'm just guessing, but I think in total we're looking at about a 1800 to 2000 foot elevation gain with everything added up. Official start time, 6.30 a.m. We're hiking through the McGraw Ranch and then just on the other side of it here is the North Boundary Trail. We're gonna take that and start hiking to the north. And this is it. We're gonna take the right and then head on up to Fox Creek Falls. This trail just starts going uphill. We've gotta go over the east ridge of Sheep Mountain. And it's a little steep. And check out that cloud formation. That's <laughs> weird. We just crossed the Rocky Mountain National Park border. This isn't super steep back here, but it will definitely warm me up. And we're almost to the top of the first incline. And then literally, as soon as we get up here, we're gonna take like one step and start going down the other side. And there it is. All right. And if you wanna hike Sheep Mountain, this is where you want to start up the ridge. This next section is really steep and it looks pretty snowy. So it's time for the spikes. Spikes are definitely making this much easier. But we need to go ahead and enjoy this right now because it's not very much fun on the way back. And here's what we're dealing with. We're gonna take this trail like all the way down to the water. And then we're gonna start back up that next ridge, go over it, down a little bit. We should run into Fox Creek, or hopefully we'll see some kind of trail. And then we're gonna take that over to Fox Creek Falls. We've come down the real steep part. It's kind of flattened out a little bit right here. But uh, we've still got a little ways to go to get down to the water. And then once we cross the water, we're gonna start going straight back up again. And I can see that next ridge looming in the background there. And we're down here. This is West Creek. Just on the other side of the water are some signs and they are saying that the North Boundary Trail is to the left. 
So let's go ahead and do that. We just need to keep our eyes peeled for the split off to the right up here. And then right here, we got a big down tree. So we're gonna have to go around it. And just when I was starting to wonder where the trail split was, we have arrived at it. We're gonna stay to the right and continue on up to Fox Creek Falls, hopefully. This is the most beautiful day. It is amazing out here. It's a little chilly, but zero wind. Guys, we have just found some Bigfoot evidence, we believe, because there have not been any tracks going up this trail, except for this one. What's it got, like six toes? How many toes are you guys counting right there? I'm counting seven. Seven toes. And we're getting up there. I can see the little gap that we came up and over originally. We've come down and now we're working it back up again. And I believe we have done it. We have made it to the top of the second incline and that really wasn't too bad at all. It wasn't nearly as bad as what I thought it was gonna be. We're getting some views that are seldom seen back here. This almost doesn't even feel real today. I mean, it's definitely real, but it just, it just looks so fake. Just when we started going downhill a tiny bit, it looks like we have picked up this Karen. And then there's another one out here. So I think this might be the way. Yeah, do not follow those Karens. That was not the correct way to go. So we had to double back and rejoin the trail. We're now gonna follow this up for a little bit further. And I believe the split is gonna be up here. We have finally split off the trail and we think we're doing this right. I don't know. We're going straight down the side of this hill right now. And we're getting nailed with snow. So we're gonna head straight right here. Ooh, yeah, I'm on a bunch of really big rocks. Okay, I hope we're doing this right. I have a feeling we're gonna come out on top of the falls, <laughs> not at the bottom of them. <laughs> yes, we got it guys. We're here. I am 99% sure that these are the Fox Creek Falls. And you have to come down a really steep terrain over a few down trees and stuff like that, but I mean, we were kind of questioning this. We're like, is this the right way? But it is. 
This is some sticky snow up here. Stay here. We're up here. We made it. This is the top of the falls. Then they just go rolling on down. This is beautiful. Yeah. We're gonna sit right here in our spot and enjoy the falls. And now we finally get to eat Annie's homegrown organic white cheddar bunny tail puffs. I've been looking forward to these for the past hour and a half. I just checked the GPS and this is a solid three miles out. And it took us two hours and 45 minutes to get up here. Tea time. It is really beautiful up here. This waterfall reminds me of a mix between West Creek Falls and Bridal Veil Falls, which kind of makes sense because those are nearby. Same type of terrain. All right, guys, it's about 10:15 right now which means that we've been sitting up here for about an hour or so. But time is starting to slip away, so it is time to go. It's time to head on back. And this is what we're looking at in the immediate future. We're gonna have to hike back up this slope and around this high point once we get up there we've got like a mile of downhill it's like the second that the sun peeks out all these chunks of snow start falling out of the trees like instantaneously this is going to kind of suck for the next five to ten minutes until we get up on out of here but luckily, we have our tracks to follow, so it shouldn't be too bad. I thought we picked a pretty good way down, to be honest. We're just going to have to take this slow. But it shouldn't take too long. And we're back up on the trail. We joined with it right here by this rock. This is looking back towards the falls and we started the bushwhack just past this little tiny creek. I will feel so much better once we reach that little notch because we're looking at like 600 plus feet in gain right there. That is what sucks about this hike. And we finally made it back down to the trail split. And if you wanted to add on another waterfall, I would highly recommend doing West Creek Falls you're looking at maybe another mile or so total. But I mean, if you were here for just like one day, I'd do them both. We just saw a marmot go running down the trail, which is pretty crazy at this elevation anyways, to see a marmot.
and we have just started up the final section which in my opinion is the crux of the hike is this uphill part on the way back it is not very much fun poles have helped tremendously on this hike they're almost a necessity i mean just with all these up and downs just really takes the pressure off your knees we're just grinding our way up the side of this oh my goodness and this is going to be the top of the incline hallelujah this took us just under 40 minutes from the water all right the rest of this is going to be easy we've been hiking down for a little over two hours and we have made it back to the mcgraw ranch yes McGraw Ranch. It just started raining slash sleeting on us. We got some dark clouds rolling in. So I'm thinking we timed this pretty good today. I'm glad we're done. And we're back. It is just now 1225, which means that took about two hours and 10 minutes to get back. Nice job, high five. Boom, Fun. got it. I'm so glad to be sitting down because we got the quadratinis in here. These things are so good. I'm gonna eat the heck out of those. But we hope you enjoyed the hike and until the next one, y'all, peace. Mm -hmm.